Throughout the story of Dragon Ball, we have grown up along with the main character Goku, learning his story, his past, his present and his future. Following all along the way his path to becoming the most powerful mortal in the galaxy. Through every battle, every transformation and even every life event, we've been there. But the sad reality of Goku's life is that though we have been there, the two most significant people in his life have all but been forgotten. Goku does not know who they are. As far as he knows, Grandpa Gohan is the closest thing he has to a father and the evil Raditz who tried to kidnap his own son is all he knows as a brother. But in the recent Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, we finally got to see the tragic story of the two people who ultimately are the only people responsible for Goku being alive to this day. The story of Goku's parents, Bardock and Jine. Two Saiyans who unlike the stereotypes of their warrior race, actually cared for deeply and loved their young son so much to even send him off to an unknown planet, just in case something were to happen to planet Vegeta. As they watched as their youngest son Kakarot flew off into the night sky, they prayed in hope that when things blew over, they would one day reunite with him. However, that day was to never come. As time went on, that child defeated many foes, including inadvertently the killer of his own parents, he became the Super Saiyan of legend, and even achieved the power of gods. But as parents, none of this truly mattered. The one achievement of Goku that truly brought happiness and pride to Bardock and Jine was the fact that their son was able to successfully have a family of his own and live happily and healthily just as they had hoped all those years ago. And this is where this wholesome story begins, where Bardock finally meets Goku again and importantly his two grandsons, Gohan and Goten. The story begins with Bardock having just arrived on Earth from the afterlife. It appears through his years of good behaviour after death, he was granted a limited time to meet the saviour of Earth who King Yemma was eternally grateful to. He arrives right in front of Goku who stares back in shock at the figure who looks just like him. Bardock too looks back shocked, stunned that this tall adult man is the Kakarot he once knew. He mutters slowly, K Kakarot? Goku remains confused but recognises his namesake replies, Eh? You know me? Bardock now seemingly calmed by hearing his son's voice begins to walk over and begins to talk. It's like, I've seen you before. Yeah, in fact, you look just like me. Immediately Goku's head is brought forward uncomfortably as Bardock pulls Goku onto his chest, reminiscent of how he would when Goku was a young boy. He tells him, you're pretty damn grown up. Goku who is still shocked but strangely paralysed in the situation begins to blush and thinks to himself, this is strangely calming. From the distance a voice is heard and Gohan is seen of Goten yelling, father the food is delicious over here. Goku responds awkwardly realising how things look and squirms, uh Gohan? Which then tempts Gohan to get closer wondering what's happening. Bardock, realising the boy just called Goku father, questions him. This is Kakarot's son. This is your son? Goku responds still trapped on Bardock's chest. Yeah, he is. He lets Goku go and begins walking over to Gohan. Goten below notices and tells Gohan, Big brother, that mister's coming right over here, causing Gohan to have sweat drip down his face in anticipation. Bardock stops just in front of him and stares for a few minutes in silence, taking in the fact that this is not only his grandson, but an adult grandson at that. Gohan, standing in silence, is left speechless at the strange figure, before Bardock raises his hand, alarming Gohan thinking he may be attacked, only for Bardock to pat Gohan's head. He asks Gohan with his hand still placed on his forehead, Is your old man treating you well? And Gohan, now blushing just like Goku, responds, Uh, yes. Bardock replies with a smile, I see. He then looks down and notices the second son of Goku, 
and the resemblance to his young Kakarot are unmistakable. He scoffs with a smirk and picks Goten up in his arms to get a closer look. You look just like Kakarot. Goten immaturely responds, I don't look like a carrot, I'm Goten. Bardock chuckling along replies, Goten huh? Now isn't that a nice name? As he puts Goten down, another voice is heard, this time a woman saying, Goku-san, who's that? Bardock turns slowly around to see his grown-up son Kakarot stood next to his wife, Chi-Chi. The resemblance to him and Gina are unbelievable and overflow him with thoughts. He thinks to himself how much Gina would have loved to see all of this. He asks Goku, is that your wife? <sighs> Before he can say any more though, his body begins to fade. It appears his time on earth is up, and he recounts, Ah, is it time already? As he fades faster and faster away, he yells out, Kakarot! Which immediately gets Goku's attention, and in his final words with a smile on his face, he tells Goku, Your beautiful wife, your family, take care of them. Imparting onto Goku the same values he had for Kakarot and his family when he was still alive, before finally vanishing from the realm forevermore. Goku, who despite not being told formally who the figure was, realizes inside him that this man was his father, and reaches out his hand in a futile attempt to embrace him one last time. But Bardock has already disappeared, proud that he got to see Kakarot live out the life that he always wanted him to see, and only sad Jine couldn't have witnessed it too. But though she may not have been able to see Goku in life, in death she was finally able to see not only Kakarot, but Raditz too. Instead, on meeting them, she had a lot more emotion, slapping both of them consecutively and appearing with an angry grimace on her face while Goku looks on confused at who this woman even was. Jine then yells out, with tears streaming down her face, You guys are idiots! You're brothers, and you're supposed to stay alive! We sacrificed so much for you. Raditz looks away disappointed himself while Goku continues to be confused. Jine on the other hand who is still upset mutters, you, you fools. Raditz then breaks the silence and tells Jine, I'm sorry mum, I didn't want it to end this way. I had no intention of killing Kakarot, I just wanted him to join us. Goku still confused whispers, Raditz? A smile appears on Jine's face as she lets out a sigh. I know son, you behave just like a big brother right? It's amazing how much you've grown. The last time I saw you, you were so tiny. And now look at you, you have such long hair. She pats Raditz on the head, just as Bardock did before finally moving on to Goku. Kakarot, we sent you to Earth when you were still a baby, so you wouldn't remember me. You're certainly identical to your father, you've become as strong as him too, but what pleases me the most is to see that you have become such a good and kind person. Goku, now realising that this woman is his mother, blushes and laughs and replies to her, thanks. Meanwhile in the foreground, Bardock appears with a smile behind a rock, listening in but choosing not to interfere in their reunion, just happy that Jine finally got her chance to see her sons, Raditz and Kakarot, once more. And that is the end of today's story. If you made it this far, be sure to leave a hashtag Bardock in the comments with your thoughts on how you think a reunion between Bardock and Goku's family would be. Do you think Jine would approve of Chi Chi? And just how would Bardock react to seeing his young grandson, Goten, having the power of the legendary Super Saiyan? How would he even react to knowing Goku had become a Super Saiyan God and had even surpassed the power of Prince Vegeta? Let me know with that hashtag Bardock and I'll make sure to read, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out one of these two videos here on the right which have a combined viewership of 140,000 views. You will not be disappointed. Until next video guys, cheers.